Greetings. Today we are going to talk about washing a felonian. The procedure applies not only to the Russian-style felonian, the one with a high, stiffened collar that covers the back of the head, but to the Greece or Serbian that simply fit over the shoulders. The first thing we need to do is mark the wax or other greasy stains with a thread on the front and on the underside. See my video about dealing with wax stains for more details. Make sure that the thread will not bleed. You also need to know which parts of the garment are the most at risk for staining. Inspect the part below the first lace on both sides. Here is another thing to keep in mind. Stains can occur at these bends. This is a part that is always in the shade and it collects dirt from the hands, the furniture and other garments. Another area to give you careful look, also below the first lace seam, is this. You are almost sure to find one or two stains here. Also look at this stripe on the opposite side. These parts are the most exposed to wax stains. Wax drops always tend to land there. You are almost certain to find some floor dust or stains of coal from the sensor down below. Here is another thing not to overlook. Always inspect the lining before the wash. If you spot any wax stains, remove them immediately with an iron and paper. The stains will appear on the front side after the wash. You will almost certainly see them when you iron your garment, and you will have to hand wash the stained areas again. So much for the felonian. Now that we have found the stains and spots and marked them with a thread, let's talk a little bit about hangers. Hangers come in the shape of a trapezoid and some in the shape of a full triangle. A trapezoid hanger seems fine, but it is almost identical to the shape of the felonian. When we put the garment on it, only a small section of the felonian will be left loose on top and it will not be protected by the hanger. But we put the garment in a case and store it in a wardrobe. This loose end of the felonian curls up and remains that way when worn. With time it begins to look like a hump, therefore a trapezoid-shaped hanger should not be used. This triangular hanger has been tried and tested at every vestry for over 10 years and it is ideal. When we hand the garment over, it, the upper part is fully protected, nothing is left loose and no part is at risk of deformation. Now there is another important observation that comes from our experience. Hangers can be covered at, by all sorts of materials. Here is something that happened. I had washed a felonian and put it on a hanger, but when I removed it, I noticed a brown streak and some brown smudges elsewhere. I had no idea where they had come from, but then I realized that it was a hanger. The material of its cover had stained the wet garment. To avoid this problem, put some plastic film or something similar between the hanger and the garment. As long as it does not leave any stains, you can cover the whole surface of the cover and protect the garment. It is now safe to hang out the felonian on it after the wash. Let's move to the next important step, the use of detergents. We have already covered this topic in part on the removal of stains. Now we need a grater, a stable one. A white box grater will do. We call it the peat grater. Now I'm taking a piece of soap and I'm about to grate it. These nice and neat shavings look like sawdust. It takes a whole bar of 72% laundry soap to wash regular sized felonian. Slowly add hot water to about one third of the top. Now shake the mix. Good laundry soap should produce this kind of foam. If the soap is of good quality and has no additives, it should dissolve fully. 
Be careful at this point. Undissolved pieces of the soap can damage the garment. If it sticks to the surface, for example, anywhere around the lace, it will leave a visible orange stain that is almost impossible to remove. Soap takes several hours to dissolve. Stir the mix periodically to make sure no pieces remain at the bottom. Stir thoroughly to make the soap dissolve as much as possible. We do not want any pieces of soap to stick to the garment, so let us use this ladle and sieve to filter the mix. The piece of gauze will also do just fine. As you can see, some pieces of the soap have remained on the sift. This is important. Dilute the soap in warm water only. Otherwise, the concentrated soap mix may erode the lace seams or do other damage to the felonium. Add the fairy or other dishwashing liquid. It will remove any stains of lampad oil or wax. Mix in hot water at a ratio of 1 to 1. Now the concentrated soap mix occupies one third of the volume. Hot water another third and the remaining and the remaining third is for soaking the garment. Here is another detail to remember. If you soak these cuffs together with the felonian, you will get stains. The iron rings inside the cuffs may rust and leave rusty smudges, like these almost anywhere on the garment. They will be almost impossible to remove. Cuffs should be soaked separately and only for a short time. You can soak a felonian for an hour or two. I sometimes even leave it overnight, while the cuffs must be washed as soon as possible, normally within 30 minutes, maximum within an hour. What do we do next? If we are pressed for time and need to wash off all the dirt quickly, we can use a stain removing spray, like Amway. It works quickly with a good results. We have put away some soap mix in a separate tub. It is for the cuffs. The best way to put them in the tub is with the iron rings up. Ideally, they should be made of string. String cuffs are soft, do not rub the wearer's arms and are washed more easily. Worn strings are easy to replace by cutting and restitching. If you have to fold in a bedenik, it is best to do it where the band will be invisible. The priest's belt and nabedenik are almost always clean. Avoid folding the nabedenik around the cross, if at all possible. Here is a way to fold it. We normally do not soak the nabedrinik and stuff unless we absolutely have to. These ones are visibly dirty, so they will have to go in. These brushes will need to come off. Long soak may destroy the glue at their base and they will not hold. If removing them is not an option, you can at least pack them to the edge of the tub. If you have to fold the nabedrinik, it is best to do it where the band will not be seen. Now we are ready to soak the felonian. It has woven interfacing inside. Sometimes the high color of the felonian may be made with cardboard. In that case, skip the soaking altogether. When you cannot avoid bending the collar, do it right along the midline. Doing it anywhere else will leave a visible trace. It is also important not to put too much pressure to keep the original round shape of the band. 
We start with the body of the garment and then do the upper part. Proceed with caution. It is permissible to gently bend the edge that goes into the top and ward like this. Submerge the entire garment and allow it to soak in the soap solution. Avoid making hard bends, stay in the half bent position. Now you know what the soaking process should look like. As for the duration of the soaking, it will depend mainly on how dirty your garment will be. For slightly soiled garments, one or two hours will be enough. But if the garment is washed once a year or less frequently, leaving it for the night would be a good idea. In addition to using the soap mix, also dilute some washing powder in a separate tub. I recommend that because soap and washing powder are good at removing different types of dirt. Also, washing powder adds freshness to your laundry. I use Ariel washing powder. I like it because it washes off all the dirt in 15-20 minutes. I add about one such scoop of this size and dissolve it in a flow of water from the shower. We normally do not use force to twist dry the stiffened collar of the felonian. By contrast, we twist the rest of the felonian with maximum force, leaving the first water in the top. It should be disposed of with piety in a dry well, not thrown into the general sewage. The same applies to the water from the zone belt and epitrachelion. Twist with discretion to minimize damage to the fiber. Now we can begin the wash. We put some laundry soap on a sponge and rub the spots most likely to gather dirt. After soaking, the stains will come off easily. В принципе, выводится нормально. Самое главное пройти. И получается. For the epitrachelion, work from below. Look, soaking has made a great difference. Since the moment we applied Amway, the dirt has all but disappeared. Помните, было, когда мы обрабатывали Amway, разводили. A gentle rub and it is all gone. Also rub on the sides of the lace seam. There might still be some stains there as well. Now we look at the front and find the thread mark we have made at the beginning around the stain. Rub this spot also with a fairy soaked sponge. It is almost impossible to locate the stain without the thread mark. The fabric is of the same hue everywhere. We would not have located the stain if we had not marked it. With the mark, we know exactly where it is. Without the use of fairy, the stain could stay after the wash. Look how stubborn this stain is. For this kind of stain, I applied the stain remover. No need to use a lot. A tiny drop is enough. Here the stain is almost invisible. It will be gone completely when it dries. Here is something else. Do you see this stain? We marked it on the front. If it were on the underside, we would have marked it from there. We need to remember that too, to know which side to rub. Now we can submerge the whole garment in the washing powder a second time. Twist dry gently. Even if you have twist dried the fabric, avoid placing it on the iron rings of the cuffs. They may leave rusty smudges. 
Потому что даже в таком варианте они могут и тоже аккуратненько складывать. И начинаю стирать. With the sponge, walk from the neck. It is likely to have dirt on it, like in other piece of clothing. For now, let us continue to work around the collar. In the process, do not overlook the small bits and pieces, like the stripes at the fold. They get dirt easily, so giving them a little rub will be helpful. These parts will also gather dirt from contract with furniture or some other objects. The neck area on the chest is also likely to be dirty. Rub it with sponge too. A felonian is also vulnerable to dirt on the sides. Dirt comes from the hands or the sensor. One needs to sponge these areas by default. They are almost certain to be dirty. Apply the sponge to the front side and the underside. Do not forget to rub on the back below the lace seam. This part often comes in contact with furniture, hangers and other garments. Also pay attention to this part. The wearer may leave stains here when taking off their garment with dirty hands. Give it a rub just in case. We are done. Now we go on to the next step, the rinse. The felonian is wet and quite heavy. We will not use the usual method. Instead, we will suspend the felonian from the ceiling dryer and pour water on it from a shower. Check that the dryer sticks are securely attached and can hold heavy items. A dryer made of metal is best. Others may break under the garment's weight. Советую лучше, чтобы они были железные, потому что если вес большой, оно может оборваться. Pick the garment and put it over the dryer facing yourself. Правильно напину, да? Я стараюсь вот так делать, чтобы она к нам лицом была. Shower with cold water. Walk on the inside and outside. И прямо туда, внутрь душика. Вот так вот просто. Несколько раз проходим, растягиваем его. Вот с той стороны тоже проходим. Flip over. Прячем это все. Вот так. Now that should be enough. Avoid twist drying the cuffs. Fold it in half instead. Now we can begin to twist dry the garment from the top down. Be careful not to break the hang dryer in the process. We need to leave the garment to soak in cold water with a conditioner. It should not take long, only around 30 minutes. After the last rinse is finished, fold the garment in the same manner as during soaking. Exercise caution and bend gently. The epitrachelian, cuffs, zone and nabedinik can also be rinsed under, under the shower. These articles are small, so the rinse should not be too difficult. It is recommended to shower the epitrachelian on two sides. Now we are ready for the last rinse. After 30 minutes they will all have a delicious fresh smell. I sometimes joke with my sisters that a prayer rope can be long or short, but mine is like this. Twist dry the felonian thoroughly and place it on a ceiling dryer. 
здесь уже лучше хорошо ее выкрутить. Теперь одеваем мы вешалочку. Attach it with some clothes bags, so it will not come off. Она может не ездила, иногда фиксируем вот так вот прищепком. We have a bathtub below, so we can hang it up like this. The fabric of this felonian will be dry by tomorrow. Это она будет стекать, если в помещении, то завтра вот ну этот материал он уже будет сухой. Now, how about the zone? Put it over the hanger and fix it with a peg. Вот так, и здесь прищепочка. We also pack the cuffs, one from above and the other from below, to speed up the drying. Pack the epitrachylian horizontally, not vertically, to keep the garments form and prevent marks from the pegs. Prefer the soap grip pegs. Мне остается след от прищепки. А сбоку, ну, желательно какие-то мягкие прищепки, она держит, вот она аккуратненькая. Now let's lift the whole lot. Job finished. Congratulations.